Well, it was one of the most controversial and talked about issues of the summer, the legalization of marijuana. On July 1st, new laws took effect that give Virginians more liberties to grow and smoke cannabis. Here's a refresher. Adults 21 and older can legally carry up to an ounce of marijuana for use in their home. They're also allowed to grow four marijuana plants. Smoking in public is still illegal, and so is selling the drug. Still so much is unknown or misunderstood when it comes to homegrown marijuana. That's why one man gave our Jake Burns a closer look at how it's actually cultivated. Jake, what'd you learn? Well, Julie, we learned just that, that there are still a lot of questions from people about home grows and that many of them are still nervous of running afoul of this very new law. So this one was started July 1st. The biggest plant in the middle right there, one of the first legally grown marijuana plants in Virginia. Yeah. So this is the Hulk OG. A friend of Josiah Ickes began growing cannabis as soon as it became legal this summer. Super proud. He can't wait, he can't wait to cut them down and uh, start curing them. The reason Ickes is showing off these plants and not his friend, he says many home growers right. are still hesitant about going public. I think the rules are straightforward, but they're so straightforward that I think people don't trust them. This is a plant that's been like so illegal for so long, and now you guys are like, ah, no big deal. A co-founder of a local hydroponics shop, Ickes is hoping to dispel fears for those who might want to grow at home, especially since the sale of cannabis is not allowed only adult sharing of legal amounts within a private space. People call in all the time about seeds still. You know, everybody's still looking for a good source of seeds. And I would say the best way to find them is to reach out to, your, to the community, reach out to people you know. While Virginians really are excited for this new change in the law, there's definitely frustration that they don't have access to legal sales yet. Jim Michelle Padini is director of Virginia Normal and says their phone still rings off the hook with questions and explains it this way. Adults 21 and older can share in private with each other up to one ounce of marijuana. So much like those adults could uh, share a glass of wine or a beer, they can also share cannabis, as long as there's no remuneration. The Richmond Times-Dispatch reports cannabis arrests are dramatically down in the metro compared to last summer. Padini says the numbers square with other states where citations dropped 90 percent once cannabis was legalized. This is a pro setup. Ica says home grows aren't that much different from houseplants, but he says Virginians need to make sure they grow their plants right and in a secure location. You do have a huge responsibility to, um, to the community to everybody around you um, because some of your neighbors don't want to smell it. Let's show that this is a good decision and this is going to help a lot more people than it's going to hurt. Coming up tonight at 6, why Ickes says recreational use is just one reason that people come to him looking for advice.